The flames of defeat. According to the Sri Lankan government, fleeing Tamil Tigers have been blowing up ammunition stocks and weapons as their tenuous grip on territory weakens by the day. They are being pushed further and further back and now control an area no bigger than a city park. The whole area has been cleared. The army have army moved in and rescued all the civilians. The, after that, only the last remaining area, uh, believed to be about uh, 800 square meters, and the LTTE still having their fortified bunkers and firing from those locations. Gunfire is still ringing out, but analysts say it is only a matter of time before the remaining Tigers are defeated. Even so, they have made an offer to lay down their arms and enter peace negotiations, an initiative made by the Tigers' leader, Vilipalai Prabhakaran. Prabhakaran agreed for that, and before four hours I talked with him and he agreed for that. We passed this message to the Sri Lankan government and international players. We are waiting for their answer. Until now, no one gives the answer or no one stop the war. All the Tigers' leaders are said to be still inside the conflict zone, but their offer is unlikely to be accepted by a Sri Lankan government, which has ignored all international calls to stop the fighting. There was jubilation on the streets of Colombo on Monday as the government announced, in effect, the end of the war. The scenes are in stark contrast to the images of broken Tamil civilians just freed from the combat zone. They've endured months of hardship, and the gaunt survivors with lifeless expressions tell their own story, and it's not one of victory or jubilation. Over the last four days, around 70,000 civilians have walked out of the danger area, but there are still said to be some staying with the remaining Tiger fighters. There are fears, however, for the safety of three Tamil doctors who provided essential treatment for civilians. Their statements by video provided the eyes and ears for the world about what was happening in the so-called safe zone. They were highly critical of the Sri Lankan government. It is believed they were detained by the army last Friday, but nothing has been heard since, and the army denies involvement in their disappearance. The rise and fall of the Tamil Tigers has spanned nearly 30 years once they controlled 16,000 square kilometres from the north to the east of Sri Lanka and supervised more than half a million Tamils. They were one of the world's most feared rebel groups and were once accepted by both the Sri Lankan government and the international community as bona fide representatives of the Tamil community. Now they are all but finished in Sri Lanka, but among the Tamil population at home and abroad, there is still a huge sense of injustice born out of unresolved grievances which started the conflict in the first place. Everyone agrees that these can only be healed by political means, not military. Unless they are, no one can rule out that the liberation tigers of Tamil Elam will rise again. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera.